the kitchen chair. This is an old chair, built by the first hands to gather the wild seeds and make them tame. For years it belonged to Priapus, god of vegetable gardens, worshipped by the people of Lamasakos in Asia Minor. Not just a chair, it is also what you might call a grace, for what we are about to receive make us truly thankful. Some things we have forgotten, for somewhere in the journey from loam to market stall, from greengrocer to supermarket to hypermarket, from agriculture to agribusiness, we lost touch with the nature of growing things, with the great age of the wild white carrot that already grew when the dinosaurs roamed, with the value of radishes, the coin paid to laborers who built the pyramids in Egypt, with the medicinal properties of lime, prevention of scurvy, and once a military secret that kept sailors safe at sea for months on end. Time was we knew the worth of growing things, sweet potato, ginger, pineapple, each has a story of lands and people we may never know. I dare you to sit on this chair. It will give you the eyes of a gardener, will gift you the days of sun and rain wrapped within the layers of an onion, will let you hear the chime of the slow clock that ticks within the word harvest. They say one tree can produce 400 apples, Meanwhile, its leaves put breath in your lungs. Sit here and you sit in the lap of the earth goddess. She has placed her cornucopia in your hands. Asparagus, aubergine, apple, banana, carrot, courgette, melon, lettuce, garlic, strawberry, rhubarb, fig, formerly, Kings did not live so well.